Hi guys, it's your girl Best Beans and guess what? I'm in my kitchen today and I'm gonna keep myself busy. So as you can see from the title below, I'll be sharing with you how I make the best banana bread in town. So if you're interested, keep watching. And in the meantime, just go ahead and hit that like button, that subscription button if you haven't done so as yet. Also, you can share it with a friend and let's do this together. So these are some of the ingredients that I'll be using in my banana bread. I'm gonna be using eggs, ripe bananas, bananas that look like they started to decompose. You know, you wanna get the sweetness from the banana. That way your banana bread can be moist and tasty. I'll be using some sugar. And as a matter of fact, if, when the bananas are extra ripe, you can use less sugar in your banana bread. And you know, my um, baking soda, baking powder and I'm also gonna put a little salt my dry spices my wet spices over there butter flour and you know I'm gonna make my banana bread epicurious so guess what keep watching because I'll be showing you some other ingredients that I'll included in my banana bread so let's get the show on the road whenever I am baking I like to grease my baking tins and set them aside and here I'm using a 9 by 3 baking tin And I'm just using a little butter to grease it all around the sides. Sometimes I do use cooking spray as well, so you know it's optional. Now that I grease my baking tins, I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just gonna go ahead now and peel the bananas and mash them. I'm just using the fork to mash the bananas, but you can also use a potato masher to do it. Going to set this aside. Now it's time to cream the butter and the sugar. And I'm just doubling up on my ingredients because I am making two, but for sure I will leave in the description box the amount of ingredients that I'm putting into each banana bread and this is room temperature butter that I am using brown sugar I'm just going to use the hand mixer to cream the butter and the sugar but this can also be done manually so let's get into it just going to set this aside I am just going to crack the eggs and remove the eyes as I don't want the banana bread to taste too eggy just whisking the egg before I add it to the mixture While you're watching the video, if you find it interested, go ahead and share it with a friend. As it is guys, I'm going to combine all of the wet ingredients. The bananas are smelling so good. 
this is a mixture of spices Let's just give this a little mix. At this time, we're going to combine all of our dry ingredients. But guess what? I like to sieve my dry ingredients. flour, salt, baking powder, baking soda. Now is the time to combine everything together. I like to spin it around first with my spatula before I use the mixer. And that is to avoid the flour from dusting up the area. I try to keep my kitchen as clean as possible so you know whatever I'm doing I like to do it carefully do it with love do it with compassion so you know at the end of the day when I cook and I eat something or I share it with a family or a friend you know they can enjoy whatever it is This is not something that takes very long to mix or to, you know, incorporate. As you can see, as I go around with it with the spatula, it's mixing properly. So you know what's next? We are going to pour our banana bread into the tin. Okay guys, this is it. But if you want to make yours epicurious, you can go ahead and add additional ingredients to it. So that is what I'm about to do right now. To shake it down to get out all the air from the tin. I'm going to put the banana bread into the oven so I'll see you in a little while. The timer just went off so I'm going to check the banana bread to make sure they are finished. See, the toothpick came out clean, so that means it is done. These are our loaves of banana bread. They're cool nicely, so let's shake them out of the tin. As you can see, it is very moist. Yep, you can see the bouncy in the reflex. How bouncy it is, very soft and moist. So let's slice it up. Just cut right through. Look at the moisture. Look at the beautiful banana bread. Best Fiends family, our Epicurious banana bread. Isn't it looking lovely? I'm telling you, it smells so good. When it was in the oven, you could stay anywhere in our neighborhood and smell our banana bread baking. 
This is the best banana bread in town. So guess what, best beans? As usual, I am going to eat and enjoy and think of you. So if you like this content, you can go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so as yet. Like, share, comment, and you can also turn on your notification bell so when I drop the next content, you'll be notified. Thank you all for watching my channel and you have yourself a splendid day. See you in the next video.